Found a soft light. You ever think? Dear God, no. You ever think you're out in the woods looking for your errant tee shot, you come across a top flat and you think no one would ever buy one of these? Like ever? Like ever in a million years? So you're saying the top flight got in the woods by some mysterious dark force? No, not dark force per se, but some mysterious tidal force in nature that binds all things. Sometimes I think that. Like when God created the Big Bang, he fused all those molecules together to make that rocky hard piece of shit because never once are you in a golf store and somebody is buying a top flight. Like, never. Like, never ever. Come to think of it, I never have seen someone buy a top flight. It's because no one ever has bought a top flight. You know, I shouldn't tell you this, but when the USGA opens up a new course, they make course operators place those things sporadically throughout the woods. That's how Top Flight stays in business. Let's dive into this one. Oh, shallow, mind the bottom. You're at a golf store, a fancy one. Dicks. Oh, I'm there. Check out girls giving me the eyes. No, she's not. Fair point, she was looking at the club fitter behind me. Easy misunderstanding. Say a guy gets in line behind you. He's carrying a box of Top Flights. You ask him why. He says, what's it to you? You say, I've never seen anyone buy a top flight. He says back, I design golf courses for a living. We break ground tomorrow. I gotta put some of these rock hard pieces of shit in the woods so the USDA doesn't reject my design plans. You caught him red handed. So what do you do? I'm not at him, I'm not at the checkout girl. She says I have a boyfriend. I said, of course you do. She says, get lost. I leave the store, I forgot that I was holding a box of teas. I get arrested for shoplifting. In the cell next to me is a drunken, belligerent Brandel Chambly. I practice my swing in the corner as Brandel narrates my every single move in his calm, yet reassuring broadcaster's voice. We make eye contact. He nods. I nod. We form a lifelong friendship. He tells me I'm the only person that he's ever respected. I say the same of him, but he knows that I'm lying. Our friendship's ruined. I go to the golf course to blow off some steam. I slice a ball into the woods. I go to retrieve it. I think I spot said ball and I reach down to check if it's mine. At the same time, another golfer reaches down for the same ball. It's a top flight and our hands intertwine. It's none other than Golf Channel's own Brandel Chambly. He cries, I cry. We look down at the top flight, but it's not there because the course is not yet open for the public. Therefore, no top flights have been placed sporadically throughout the woods. The top flight never existed. Wait. This course isn't open to the public yet. Come to think of it, I never have seen someone buy a top flight. Do you actually hear the mic rustle? Is that better? 